JFT just fair and direct. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to JFT's daily market review for November the 11th. I am Harlan Bospisuros, senior market analyst here at JFT, and I will talk about yesterday's main market movers, what's my opinion moving ahead, what are today's important events, and how they could affect the markets. But before we start, let's read our disclaimer. The content we produce does not constitute investment advice or investment recommendation, should not be considered as such, and does not in any way constitute an invitation to acquire any financial instrument or product. I will leave you a few seconds to read uh, the rest, and then we will jump into our analysis. Okay, the US dollar traded mixed against the other June 10 currencies on Tuesday and during the Asian morning Wednesday. It gained slightly against SEHF, CAT, JPY, and the Euro in that order, while it underperformed versus NZD, GBP, NOC, Aussie, and SEC. The weakening of the safe havens franc and yen combined with the strengthening of the risk-linked Kiwi and Aussie suggests that the markets continue trading in a risk-on manner following the positive news with regards to a potential COVID-19 vaccine uh, breakthrough. Indeed, uh, major EU indices were a sea of uh, green, but the upbeat investor morale softened somewhat during the US session. Although Dow Jones gained 0.90%, the S&P 500 slid 0.14%. The tech-heavy Nasdaq fell 1.37%, as most stocks that benefited during the pandemic, like Amazon, continued to, continued to slide. Appetite recovered again during the Asian session today. Although China Shanghai is currently 0 0.53 down, Japan's Nikkei 225, Hong Kong Sang Seng and South Korea's KOSPI are up 1.78, 0.22 and 1.35% respectively. With the global daily infections from the coronavirus accelerating yesterday, it seems that concerns over the pandemic's economic impact may have limited further gains in equities and other risk-linked assets. As we noted yesterday, it is still too early to start cheering that the COVID era is behind us. There are still many questions with regards to the vaccine to be answered, such as uh, how effective is by age and how long immunity could last. And even if we get the answers, there is uh, the heart of how it will be delivered as it has to be shipped at extremely cold temperatures. In any case, our own view remains the same. We are now a step closer in finding the cure for the virus, which uh, combined with Biden's victory in the US elections may allow investors to jump back into the action at some point soon and push, ris push risk-linked assets uh, up. Now back to the currencies. Overnight, the Kiwi spiked higher and took the first place among the, G among the G10 uh, winners in response to the RBNZ monetary policy decision. The bank decided to keep its official cash rate and large-scale asset purchase program unchanged, and although it noted that it will launch a funding for lending program in December, Governor Andrea Noor said that domestic activity since August has been more resilient than previously assumed, which means that the chance for adopting negative interest rates may have eased. As a risk-linked currency, the QE may continue to gain against the US dollar if the financial community stays in a risk-on mode, and uh, due to the lowering of the negative rate chance, it may even outperform the other commodity-linked currencies, namely the Aussie and the Luni. In other words, we see the case for Aussie Kiwi to drift south and for Kiwi Cut to strengthen. Now, as for the rest of uh, today's events, uh, the calendar is very light today, with no major economic, uh, with no major economic indicators uh, due to be released. However, we have three ECB speakers on the agenda, from whom we may get uh, more details with regards to the likelihood of further stimulus by the ECB in December. Those are President Christine Lagarde, Vice President Luis de Quindos, and Executive Board Member Philip Lane. So that's it uh, from me. Thank you very much for watching and listening. 
For those who are interested in learning about the main events of the week much earlier, you can subscribe to the Weekly Market Outlook webinar, which I'm holding every Monday at 8 o'clock a.m. GMT time. You can find the link in the, in the description below. So goodbye, have a great day, and I'm looking forward to seeing you here again tomorrow. JFT, just fair and direct.